Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a car tour. I recently got my brand new 2021 Tesla Model 3. I showed it kind of in my last video, but I didn't really give you guys a real tour. So today, I'm going to give you guys the full scoop. Follow me! Follow me! <laughs> so, should we start from the outside? Yeah. I can control my car through my phone and I can open all the trunks. Wow! I have a front <laughs> because it's obviously a Tesla, so it didn't take any gas, so there's no mortar. <laughs> it's kind of simple. I recently, I don't know what happened here. I think a rock hit my car when I was on the freeway, but I didn't hear it because my music is always like at 100. So I don't know when that happened. And this is the back of the car. This is the back of the car. It has carbon fiber. Um, what is this called? I don't know. It's to make me go faster. Okay. And then this is the inside. These are the doors. You push them in like this and then you can pull it. There's cameras right here. And literally everywhere around the car, it has cameras. So I can see my surroundings. And then right here it says model 3 that's the model of my car so the outside of the car isn't really that special um but what i like personally is the inside so basically i control the whole car through this tablet right here computer um i can control the lights locks the display of the car driving autopilot navigation basically this is like all the settings and then here is my music like that and then back camera windshield wipers you know what's funny about this car since it's electric it doesn't have water in the windshield wipers which is kind of like horrible because one time i had something splash on my windshield and i couldn't take it off because it doesn't have water so the only thing it does is put on the windshield which i don't know tesla you messed up on that one because i need some water sometimes and then right here i have a calendar i didn't I'm, I didn't even know it had this, so I'm kind of learning too. And then, oh, it has entertainment also, if you need to play some games while you're bored. Also, my charging is really bad. Right <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later. So, when you're charging your phone, you can play games. You can only play these games when you're in park. You can't play while you're driving, because obviously that wouldn't be safe. But, it has a bunch of games that you can play. And then, it has a toy box which where you can put a fireplace and it gets cozy and you can actually listen to a real fire or you can push music romantic <laughs> music <laughs> and then hot air actually does start coming out of the um vent but we're not going to put music because we don't want to get copyrighted oh my god what's going on the air going on. <laughs> okay turn off the air and then i also have a sketch pad where I can draw um, Mars I can go to Mars Santa vibes and the rainbow road I haven't used any of this so I don't really know but <laughs> it farts <laughs> you can control your type of horn that you want I have this one because I'm Mexican so I like la cucaracha but you can choose any of these horns that they have. It just has so many things. If I were to show you guys like every little detail, we'd be here for hours. But basically, there it has heated seats, um, air conditioning, normal. Oh, this is to turn on your heated seat, sorry. I have my Spotify connected to my car. So this is all my recently played music and then playlist artists literally how you have your spotify on your phone you could transfer it all to your tesla and then i also like i said control my whole car through my phone also i could lock it right now it's parked i have very low miles and then my phone key uh where i am right now and then everything i feel like once you get if you get a tesla you kind of figure it out yourself but it's kind of hard to explain oh and then cool feature about the car is i could charge it right here 
and it's like a wireless charger and then right here i have a little compartment where i put random stuff basically trash my registration i don't know what this is <laughs> and then my passport and more trash i'm not even gonna show you guys and then to close it you just mm -hmm. and so this is the back um nothing too crazy just um ac and then it has to connect the newest is this for the new iphone huh yeah mm -hmm. it has for the new the connection for the new iphone which is pretty cool and a parking ticket or a parking space and then these little pockets nothing too special so i wish i could show you guys really in detail um what the car does but i kind of just give you guys like a little basic tour um if i showed you guys like everything i'd be here for years so so what i really like about my car is it's really safe and i never feel worried it always tells me like where to go oh also you know what's really cool that if i'm merging lanes and there's a car next to me that i don't see it'll merge back for me like to the other lane so i won't get in a crash because i've gotten a couple crashes I'm not the best driver, so I feel like this is the perfect car for me. What I don't like about it, it's really sensitive. Like if I get too close to cars, sometimes like it'll beep, like beep, 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 and it'll go start going crazy. I'm like, chill, I know, I'm not gonna hit the car in the front, but it doesn't trust me, so it beeps a lot. But other than that, I love my new car. For the charging, you can only go to certain chargers. Like if you go to Tesla chargers, Tesla superchargers, it'll charge your car really fast. But if you go to like a regular EV charger, it'll take like, if your car's really low on miles, it will it could take up to 24 hours to charge your car. So that's why I usually always go to the Tesla chargers or um, before bed, I'll plug my car in so it can be charged in the morning. But I feel like the miles kind of do run out pretty fast on the car. So I can't be driving around for no reason. I have to go where I need to go and then that's it. It doesn't let me like just drive around how I would in my old car. Before this, I had a Jeep Wrangler, which would waste a lot, a lot of gas. But now, free gas. I don't use gas anymore. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests on any more videos that I should film, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I'm out. Peace.